Hi friends! Today we carry on with the next part of our beginner's main questline. In the last video, we were trying to uncover the Baroness and her butler's secrets, find the missing Linda, and discover who Mr. Sandman is. Let's go and get to the bottom of all of it. Mommy. At this point you use the trailer to get to Furgrove Village, or, if you haven't unlocked it yet, run towards it. It's far but you can make it.
back to Veildale Village now to speak with Elizabeth again. We're going to see Alex again, so to Silverglade Manor we go. That's him, right? He is the one in the photo called Mr. Sandman, the former council member. It sure looks like him. Let's get back to Alex and let her know. What a huge secret the Baroness kept from everyone. She had been married to Mr. Sands of all people.
So Thomas Moreland is the secret child of the Baroness and Mr. Sands, and that means Justin is the grandson of Mr. Sands. Wow, talk about an impressive family tree. But now Justin is in danger. Him meeting Mr. Sands is not good. Mr. Sands doesn't strike me as a happy old tea-drinking grandfather that wants to love his grandchild. No, that man is one slimy character. We need to save Justin somehow. Um, I'm glitching here, I think. I can't interact with Alex. Okay then, let's not waste time and continue on with Linda for now. Still nothing, but I'll get back to it soon. Just a tip. 
Always check your quest log to make sure you're following the correct quest. Your quest log is pivotal. In my case, I always check it to see if I'm following the main quest or a side quest. Because if you have available main quests, you want to concentrate on those first and do the side quests intermittently. It's the only proper way to balance your in-game growth. You get those, like myself, who prioritize focusing on quests while others perhaps dislike doing the quests and prioritize racing. Focusing too much in one direction is not good. Balancing doing quests and races are the key to properly growing yourself in SSO. For me, balancing quests and races is a work in progress. But my good friend Jelly Bean is getting me to do races while I get her to do her quest line. We balance each other out. I guess that is the whole point of SSO. Girls sticking together, empowering one another, having each other's backs and growing stronger together. Yes, I can talk to Alex now. My little earlier glitch moment has passed. Thank the heavens. We need to go to Veildale again. Run clockwise in this circle, follow the direction of the path here, and a portal will soon open up for us to go meet the Keepers of Aideen. There is our portal. Wow, just look at this place. Amazing, isn't it? There's Fripp. Yay! We finally get to meet him in person.
What an experience it was meeting Fripp and the keepers of Aideen and also being among some of the soul riders. Okay, so that was basically it. We found out what the Baroness was hiding, we saved Linda, found out just who is Justin's grandfather, and we visited the keepers of Aideen. Now we need to level up to move forward in our main questline. So, until next time, game on and bye friends.